Good evening everyone. So I think it's about time that we do another of these Fusion 360 for 3D printing or as I like to say a catalog. So a funny story is that at the office I was cleaning the windows and I broke the window wiper. So you clean the windows and then you wipe them off with, with the wiper. So the idea is here that we're going to use a 3D printer that handles TPU very well or NinjaFlex. So we're going to print a uh, window wiper more or less. So the idea is to have two parts, one that is hard plastic and one that is soft TPU. And they should combine fairly easy without any tools really. Uh, I want to be able to rapidly prototype the, uh, like the rail or the part that, uh, that, that grabs on the water and wipe it off. So I want to try to uh, test a few different ones and see if I can make like cool patterns or stuff like that. So just basically combining two parts and, and creating a good model that is easy to print and that will be shared with you guys on my Patreon, of course. So um, with that said, let's jump into Fusion. All right, so we're back here in Fusion. We can see on the left side here, we see all the previous uh, guides and stuff like that. So we'll just hide those. We don't need them right now. Uh, there we go. So the plan here is to use two parts, one rail and one hard part. I'm probably going to combine some um, uh, form tools together with some just normal drawing. So the idea is that since we're using the 6 3D printer in this case, it has a build volume of 265 millimeters by 225. That's pretty pretty big. So I should be able to make a quite wide rail, let, let's say about 200 millimeters to be, to be, uh, to be safe. So uh, I want to start off with that part and I'm actually going to draw it here on the side. So the plan is to just create a new sketch uh, we'll zoom in, we'll do it around 0.2 millimeters tall because that's that's one typical layer. So I want to have this, let's say it a, a like a wiper. I want to have that in this inclining angle and then a few extra millimeters, let's say a centimeter more. And then down, uh, there we go, and back again. So I know it's really, really thin but the plan here is to uh, let this part over here, hopefully you can see this, um, this part here should be uh, flexible. So uh, since this is really thin, thin and we get like layers like this, I should draw it like this, stupid. So this part here is uh, flexible and since we get layers like in this direction, we should have a super flexible here, less flexible, even less flexible and then we have the the hard part or so to say and then we combine up here we uh, combine the hard plastic into some sort of handle so we can like wipe it and I want this part to also sit together with like ribbons and, or something like that so that it's easily swappable and maybe even cleanable something like that so so that's the whole plan let's just uh, go ahead and um, finish off um, this model so what we do here is that or actually I want to do a little bit of a fillet down here because the water is going to come from this direction <clears throat> or the wiping motion so I just want to make sure that we have a little bit of a radius here anyways um, that's probably going to be good and that's about it that's all we need before we start to extrude this now uh, I want to do a um, I will mirror all of this later so I'm going to just make it, let's say 120, so that would be 240. I can't always be fast on math uh, like that. So I'm just going to take this part, so we'll use this body here. I'll move that and create a new component. I will call this the wiper blade. So with that, I think we're ready now to start on the actual form. So I want to create, a, begin with a cylinder. Uh, let's just make it like up here. And I was thinking that if I hold my hand like this, it's around, let's say around uh, 40 millimeters in, in diameter. So I think 40 will be good. There we go, we have a symmetry mirror in width. So we can see these green lines here. 
Um, if you're new to Fusion, these green lines here, they mean that we have something called symmetry. So if I change something on this side, it will also be on this side. Or if I change this, it will affect this here. So that's pretty neat to have. So we'll just include that. Um, and start modeling. So let's say uh, at the beginning, oh wait, I'm just gonna move this around. I'm gonna start off a little bit easier. So maybe around here. So if we click here on edit, I'm just double clicking to uh, select every everyone. Um, I want to make this like a little bit harder. Make these ones also a little bit harder, a little bit wider. So the idea here is that we let's drag this down. Maybe even drag this one here as well. But my thought was that since we don't need the full width at the end, we can do something like this. Maybe I'll just remove that one. Delete. What? There we go. Make this a little bit smaller. This one has to follow as well. So we get some sort of like tool to hold on to. Now this one here needs to um, needs to move down even more because we need to connect these two, which is a little bit of a tricky process. I'm just gonna click. Oops, that didn't work well. They're selecting all of them, holding down Alt while dragging to make sure that we uh, that they stick together. So let's see uh, if I get over there and I want to move these two. Move those out. It's probably good. Let's make another one. Go even closer. I probably need to add like. Can we do that? Can we add a few points? We just add something there. Repeat down here. So we get a little bit more surfaces to work with. Now I do want to have a uh, creased edge, so this one will probably be creased. That makes it really uh, rough. And the plan here is to, well, we're gonna save this, of course. Uh, so lesson eight, I think. Pretty sure it is. <laughs> I can't even remember myself. So what I want to do here is to match and can I match just one the plan here is, is if ish I can match that to this one let's just drag this one here out a little bit first so we make those even closer I know it's not pretty but we'll I promise that we'll fix that a little bit shortly um, so again I want to try to match uh, oh yeah, we can flatten as well. But uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's just try to match first. So I want to match this one and this one to this one. That works super. One of the contains symmetry. All right. So if it does not contain symmetry, well, that's not a good thing. I need to. Uh, I need to let's see. Can I do this here? Let's just uh, let's just finish this. I want to see if I can edit this feature as a two-side extrusion and 120 on that side as well. That should work, right? And then we'll go back to this one. We'll edit it and we'll try it again. So we have these four. I'll try to uh, match them into that one. All right, and that should work. I'm also getting some issues here, but let's uh, let's just ignore that for now. We should have a um, 
a match here. Let's see, repeat uh, this line to this line. No chain selection, please. So this one towards that one. Well, okay, that works. But I guess we have to... I guess the symmetry is gone, which is a little bit bad. But let's see if we can recover it. Take all of those, match it to this one. Hmm. That's not really working. Oh, okay, I see. I need to crease these two here. Creasing that one, creasing this one. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Maybe I'm thinking about it the wrong way. Anyway, let's, let's try to continue here. See if we can match them. So they're now matched, but they're not. There's no symmetry. But let's just ignore that for now. Let's see. Can we move these? Yes, we can. Right, so we're gonna work with this again. Just changing the, the shape here. Let's see. Are these symmetry? Yes, these are symmetry. That's good. At least we have something to work with. I'm just gonna. Uh, See if I can. I think I need to do a crease on this one here. Just to yeah, just to get everything in order. These ones can be moved. Maybe these ones should be moved in. Yeah. Let's move that in. So we get a more clean flow here of the lines. It's very important to have a good flow. I think I will move this one in as well. But I will move this one out like that. Maybe I can increase these ones here. I really want to do that. So. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just focusing on like the flow here of the model. Um. So just moving uh, a lot of stuff around. Hopefully I can speed it up so you don't have to watch all of it. I want to try to increase this one here. See what happens. So let's do that. Let's uh, select increase. This one, this one. Oh, that one shouldn't be. Yeah, okay, it kind of has. No, it doesn't have to. Yeah, it does. Exactly, there's no point for those to be creased. There we go, now it's starting to look like something. Now we're getting a bit of a flow here in the shape, which is nice, I do like that. All right, let's, let's see here, how far are these distances? But that's 168, I think, I think that's printable in, in one piece. I should make this just slightly shorter. I'm just gonna make this part a little bit shorter and probably angle it like that so it's easier to print. And then we'll fill this hole. Uh, let's see, where do we have fill hole? Fill hole, there we go. Mm, no, not like that. I need to increase the edges, yes please. And also this one here should be 
filled. Um, maybe in another matter. Let's uh, bridge. Let's maintain crease edges, just please. Whoa, that doesn't look good. Let's do it with all. Uh, bridge, bridge, bridge. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so okay, 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 I get it. I need to do insert an edge. I'll insert some points to have it more or less in line with the others. Oh, okay, we don't have the symmetry, so we'll just have to do it manually. So I do have some midpoints that I will use. Midpoints and midpoints. There we go. So now it should be because now we have now we have a matching amount of, of edges here. So I think the bridging will be much easier. I mean this should work. There we go. Working here on the flow. And yeah, sometimes you can work on the flow even though you're not seeing the smooth result. So let's just uh, change that. Display mode, smooth. Or is there any errors? I think we have some issues here, guys. Let's find out what it is. This one here should not be like that either. That's not good for the flow. I think that's much better for the flow. That should look a little bit better. Okay, so we do have these points here. Maybe that is the issue. Let's do a um, pair body. Click on a body. We do have some issues. Let's see if we can fix them. We could. Awesome. So that is our finished form does not look like I wanted to, so <laughs> I think we have to fix it again. Let's just go back here and edit it. Why are these edges not creased anymore? They should be creased. So there we go, now it should be all finished. Now we have one surface down there. Awesome. So many steps for coming this far. At least we now have a model that we can call, well, what should we call it? Let's call it a grip. Grip. Okay, so we have wiper blade and we have the grip. Can we just like change the color on this one? Let's put like a leather, uh, let's leather mat. Let's see, we just separated those. Um, so now I can start to uh, focus on the white blade. I want to make some sort of shape. Um, we can make plugs, I suppose. Let's create a new form up here. Let's make it around here. We do need a few of them. Four millimeters. Five is probably good. There we go. We want to extrude this. Mm. Let's make a taper to it. It should kind of align itself. I'm just thinking. <laughs> Never a good idea to think when you're thinking. All right, so if we can do like that, and then we do Let's see, 45 degrees is probably pretty okay, even with, uh, with like TPU. Let's go up and, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Redo. 
do however want to just chamfer this a little bit and hopefully we can like do a little bit of a cut here because we needed to um, we needed to actually go down inside somehow to make it uh, flex all right so if we can just mirror this shape here bear with me i kind of know what i'm doing <laughs> all right so let's just mirror this okay okay we can remove the center parts we now have this one and the idea is that if I do this, will it hold up? That's the, the whole question here. Let's just add chamber with you, fillets. Hmm, what happens if I press this? It goes upwards. If I press this one. It only moves one. In theory, that should work, right? I just don't know if it's like rigid enough to um, to stay. But uh, I guess we'll we'll just have to we just have to check out. All right. So we have this body. Is it? Oh, it's all the same. No. Oh, it is the same. Okay, we need to we need to split it. Split body. Splitting tool that face. Yeah, there we go. Now we can start to um, create a component inside this. So we then mirror. Let's say fifty millimeters away. Okay. Mirror components, we do want to do that. Remove, mirror. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mirror components, that, that. Mirror plane in there, there we go. Awesome, okay, so that's, that's good. We have that done. Let's see if we go back to the grip. And we want to work with that. We need to actually we need to remodel it a little bit. All right, so I want to make a little bit of an edit here. So we need to edit the form. I do need to make like these parts sticking out a little bit more. space over here. Now what happens if I say insert edge? Does it work? It does seem to work, which is good. So that means that I could, could swap those down like that. It's not gonna be the most pretty shape, but well that's not always what we wanna use anyway. Hmm okay okay that's finished So we now actually have the shape here that we can use. So again, same thing with the grip, sorry, with the wiper blade. I'm creating things in the wrong sketch. So here we go. That axis, in center, five diameter. We should now be able to extrude that. And when we do, We'll create a uh, hole. We'll create a hole in this. We do want to create a new component first. Because we're going to match this to the wiper blade. So we want to add, highlight 
Scotch. Da, da, da. Da, da. Let's see. So if we build this down to around to around what? Let's say around there. That should be good. And then we chamber it down to that one. This in theory should be all we need actually that's not true <laughs> we need to uh, uh to widen this as well uh, let's do like that join then we now have oops, we have this one here we can do a shame for that we'll just bring this out Need to change the angle. This is an angle. There we go. This should be around the same. Ah, finito. Supero. That's not even words. But there we go. Now we have this component that we can create copies of, hopefully. Why is it not working? working in the grip. It was 50 millimeters, super. And then we mirror these two. Mm, create mirror. Select that super. And on this body we now combine this body with so Target and then tools, tool bodies. Let's see, here we go. For selected. There we go. And then if we now put back the wiper, oh, we see it again. We now have the wiper blade. I know, I know it's not pretty, it's not the best. But I think it's pretty good. It should be doable. Let's see how far our stuff here it should be doable. Now, obviously, I could have done this feature better, but I think it will work. I'm, I'm really keen on trying it, and I know that should be printable. Let's see about this one here. Is that even printable? Now we can do an inspection signal list on this plane. So let's see. That all looks good. That is quite the angle, but it should be possible. Those, however, do get a little bit more difficult to print. Hmm. These are also doable. But hey, are those really going through? Yeah, they are just showing funny. I think it's printable. It's just it's just hard, but I think it's printable. Let's see. So we do have 170 millimeter. And we had a 195 in the six. So I think that should be good. Should be good. Now. Just to make sure, we could, uh, we could do. Nah, let's leave it there. All right, so that was a little bit messy, but I think I think it works. I want to say that it works. Um, I will try this out and probably on my like Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. I'll, I'll show this off and see how what it works. I think it's pretty funny because this blade here, it's quite easy to just do like small modifications and see what they lead to. But I think all of this should work pretty well. Um, I could probably like to create some sort of hollow point here. Let's do it the simple way. Let's just do a cylinder in this direction. God, 
Is it not showing? I'm having a lot of struggles today with the tools. They're not really doing what I want to do. We could do it like this. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, let's just do it like that to add to add strength. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're done now, right? So we're done. So um <laughs> hope that all the uh, fast forwarding wasn't too annoying. I did come along a few errors on the way and some uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit late so <laughs> maybe that's why. But I think uh, it, it's a fun process. I, I really learned a few tools and a few uh, things here and hopefully you guys saw some stuff as well. Um, when looking at this model it's not the most prettiest one but Again, I didn't have any good references to start with, so um, this is just free based. Hopefully, you can enjoy it, anyways, and we'll uh, we'll see how it looks on my Twitter down below. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching. Bye. They don't see